Hello everyone, welcome to my first Toast Designer tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how to uh, interpret or make uh, parametric curves inside Touch Designer. These parametric curves are made with parametric equations. So before we start I want you to know that English is not my native language so may sorry if I have some bad words or something li like that and for that you can visit this tutorial in format and text format uh, this is on on a web page i will uh, give you the link in the in the description of the tutorial so everything we're gonna see and a little more explanation about what we're doing you will find it here so we you can understand uh, a little bit deeper what we're doing but uh, basically we I will explain what what we are doing so uh, first well uh, parametric equations what are parametric equations parametric equations are a set of equations uh, that have a that compute some uh, parametric curves and we need to input some parameters uh, if we modify these parameters the curves change so uh, we will end up with a network like this and uh, let's start so uh, the tutorial is named introduction because we're gonna see uh, the simplest parametric curve that is the circle uh, this shape also comes inside touch designer and we can see it with uh, the subfamily we type circle and this is our circle we need to change uh, the arc type parameter to open arc and then uh, if we middle click the out of the operator we can see uh, the valid operators of other families that we can connect this operator so we don't need to type in the operator we're searching for because for example for connecting this to job uh, family we only can connect it to info shop or sub to shop so uh, we select the sub to chop and we see that our circle have uh, dimensions in the three axes actually it had in two and tx and ty because tc is zero uh, this means that is uh, plain uh, a plain shape so uh, we can confirm that this information gave us a circle making the inverse operation that is connecting a null and then connecting this uh, null to a chop to sub and we see that indeed we have a circle so we we will uh, end with these uh, shapes or this information with uh, the parametric curves that are designed to or computed don't really know how to say it uh, for making the circle uh, these parametric equations for the circle are the next we're gonna see here for the x-axis uh, it will be equal to r uh, r stands for or means radius and uh, cosine of t t is the length of the angle and for y is r sine of t so uh, first we wanna uh, declare or parameters we wanna use in this case we only need one external parameter aside of the of the length in this case the the angle I, I should say so also before 
Uh, we also need to declare how long or how many divisions like this will have our circle. So we're gonna select the same number as here uh, to make this the more simple to understand. And we will declare this in a constant chop. In this constant chop, first we will name samples and we will we will give it a value of foreign and then we will declare r with a default value of one. Then uh, we need to declare our angle that in this case is t. Uh, in this uh, angle is the same for both of them. So for declaring this, we need to, or we can do it with a pattern chop. This pattern chop uh, comes with built-in uh, sine and cosine functions, but we will do it in another way to understand more what we are doing. So we need to change the type of the pattern to a ramp. Then uh, we need to set uh, the length of this pattern to the same length as the circle we have by default. So we need to export with the active uh, cross. We need to export the parameter samples. We need we will export it to the parameter length of the parent job. Then um, we will in the channel page we can change the name to T. So we have by now our radius and our angle T. Then we need to apply the functions for both of the channels, in this case for Tx and Ty. So we can do this with a function chop. We have we connect a function chop and we change the function in this case for Tx to cosine and we change the angle units to cycles. Then we copy this operator and change the function to sign for dy. Uh, then we need to merge them to have one output like this. We need to have our three axes in just one operator. So we do this with a merge shop. So for now we have our cosine of t and our sine of t. We only need uh, to multiply them by your radius or parameter r. So we can do it uh, in the next way. That is uh, first uh, to make um, a good network. We can add a select and we drag the constant operator over the select and then in the select in cha on channel names we can change or we can select the R channel. So here we have our R radius and our functions cosine of t and sine of t. And then we multiply them with a mat. And in this map, we change the combined chops uh, operation to multiply. So now our radius is multiplying our functions, and we can see how this affects. If it's zero, then we have no information, and we will see how the shape is going larger as we increase the radius. So the next thing uh, for a better conversion, we also see here that we need to rename or we need to have the name of the axis of the channels uh, to Tx, Ty and Tc because for by default, uh, chop two requires or have these names of channels. So we, we will change or we will rename this 
to to match the information. So we can do this with our name chop. And then in the parameter two, we uh, type t brackets. Inside brackets, we type x y, and we close the bracket. And we see that the conversion is done. Finally, to add uh, our third channel, that is tc, we can do it by copying our parent chop to avoid exporting again the samples. We can copy, so the exportation is already done. And uh, we don't need a ramp in this case, we need a constant because our value is constant for all the length of the of the functions or, or the parameters. So we can change or we change the time to constant and uh, the amplitude we need to be it needs to be zero because it doesn't it doesn't have amplitude in the c axis. And so also we can change the channel in the channel page the channel name so we we don't need to add another operator to rename this so one of the last steps is we need to add a merge and we will have our three channels in the same in the same job finally we add a null to make the, the exportation and before we do that we can confirm that the infos uh, are the same. Uh, the info of the default circle, the channels, is the same that with we the the information we compute with the parametric equations. So um, we can assure that we will, if we convert this to a sub, we will have a circle, and that's what we will do next. So we middle click the alt of the null and connect at shop two, and our circle is is there. So uh, basically, this is uh, the this tutorial, the the end of this tutorial. So we can we can see that uh, applying or making these computations we can draw these these curves in further tutorials uh, we're gonna make more uh, difficult curves uh, different different curves ha that have been uh, mathematically computed in in all those years so uh, i hope this information is useful to you and you like this tutorial so if you like this you can subscribe to, to my channel i will be making more tutorials on this topic because this is an mm, investigation i did because of, of one book the this book is in in the first part of, of the web page so uh, there, there will be a lot of tutorials making different of, of these curves. Uh, I hope you will you will find it interesting. So you can subscribe and like the video and also if you have any any comments or any uh, feedback, uh, you can uh, type it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and uh, I will see you in the next.